What's up, guys? What's up? I'm warming up my coffee. I gotta share something with you. So, let me give you guys a minute to jump on. Um, oh, you wanna see a snow? It's snowing, it's freaking beautiful. Look how pretty. So pretty. All right, guys, so I gotta tell you why your to-do list means shit. Like, it means shit. Everybody's like, oh my God, I have such a great plan. Well, let me share this and I will explain why in just a sec. Share now. There we go. All right, so I'm pretty sure you guys can probably guess why, huh? Why does it mean that, uh, you, why is your list bullshit? Why does it really not matter at all? Here's why. Everybody can create a list. Everybody can write a post-it note, 18 post-it notes, and have to-do lists, and have a fancy planner. And everyone can do that, right? Okay, perfect, so you wrote it down. Cool, great. But did you do anything with it? Did you do anything with it? That's the question. That's where the impact comes in. That's where the changes are made. That's where you actually get things done. Like, and I'm not trying to discourage anybody, but I get a lot of messages and a lot of comments and things where people are like, I created the perfect list. Now all I need to do is execute. But it's like they give themselves so much credit for creating a list and then act like they, the work is freaking done. Like, no. Don't give yourself a giant pat on the back because you created a list. Like, that doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything. If you are not actually executing and taking action and doing something, then your list doesn't mean shit. And that's the truth. So we have to stop giving ourselves a false sense of, a false sense of actually accomplishing something by creating a list because that's not what it is. I mean, blows my fucking mind, honestly. What we do and what we don't realize is subconsciously when we, subconsciously when we give ourselves that satisfaction and we say, oh my gosh, I did my list, I wrote, I wrote out my plan. I'm so good, I did so good, this is great. So subconsciously we're justifying to ourselves that we're done, right? We did what we were supposed to do and, and it's done. When in all reality, that's like literally this much of the battle. So what ends up happening is, is we've told ourselves subconsciously that we've done what we needed to do. And there's that, right? We're done. Perfect. And then the week goes by and Friday gets here and you're like, crap, I didn't do anything. I didn't even open my planner. I didn't even look at my list. I didn't even do anything with my plan at all. Shit and then you feel crappy, and then you fall backwards, and you move steps backwards, and then the guilt sits in. And you're like, how am I ever gonna get anything done? How am I ever gonna be successful at this? Oh my God, like this is what happens. This is a perpetual cycle, trust me. It's not just you. No, I'm not sitting in your bedroom watching you do this. It's not just you, it happens. So what I need you to understand is the action that you take after you create the list is 100 times more important. Your list can look like shit and you can get more done. And that's just that. You don't need to have, yes, I like to have a fancy pretty list, but there are plenty of times that I've not had a fancy pretty list, that I've had a shitty looking list and accomplish more than most people do. So, I want you to keep that in mind. My phone's being all funky. I want you to keep that in mind when you think about exactly what it is that you need to get done and you write out a list and you're like self-satisfied. You're like, whoa, yes, I'm such a rock star. God, I'm gonna be so productive. I wrote a list, it's awesome. Okay, now what? Like now what are you gonna do? Like now what? Literally. So um, that's really it. That's really like the bursting of your bubble, I apologize, but a lot of that it pisses me off. It really does. Like, it irks me big time. People are like, I made a list. Look at my list. Woo! And I'm like, cool. What did you do about it? Did you do something? No. Cool. Then I don't want to talk to you. Like, I got nothing to say to you about this. 
Like, I am not going to give you an attaboy and pat you on the ass because you created a list. It's not going to happen. Do something. People don't build empires or build cities or businesses because they made a list. They do it because they're determined. They change their mindset. And, like, anybody who's worked with me one-on-one -on -one or taken any of my classes or anything knows, like, we talk more about mindset than we do about your freaking list and strategy because it starts here. And if you're not mentally prepared to be committed and focused and determined, none of the other shit's going to happen. Like, it's just not going to. And that's just the way that it goes. I mean, I'm not being a dick when I say this, you guys. This is just the truth. Like, literally, we spend more than 50% of our time when I work with people talking about your mindset and how you're looking at your list, how you're looking at your business, how you're looking at the shit in your life that's chaotic, that you hate, that you want to fix, that you came to me in the first place for anyways. It all starts here before anything about your list matters or means a thing. So I just wanted to tell you, like, legit, your list is cool. Great, good, great, grand. But you have to take action. And taking action takes discipline and determination and being committed. So that is something that you have to swallow. That's a pill that you have to swallow, something you have to admit. The majority of people are not committed to shit at all. They're, they're not. They're like, I made a list, yippee, let me pat myself on the back and go about my business and get nothing done at all and then complain when I don't have any of the things that I want in my life and I'm happy or I'm not happy and so-and-so hates me. Blah, 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 my life is miserable. Well, why? Why do you think it's miserable? Because you're expecting a change, but you're not doing anything to get it. It, it, it boggles my mind. I'm like, how is this even a thing, you guys? Like, how... Do you not realize that you're not getting a different result because you're not doing a different action? You're not doing anything to get a result. You have everything in front of you. Like 90% of, of the background of my business, other than the skills that I have and the experiences that I learned and the things like that, like, but the actual frame, the websites, the videos, the things that you see that I create and give to you guys, do you think that somebody did that for me or that like, I had to have somebody hold my fucking hand to do it? No, I figured it out. Like I did things. I did work. I Googled it. I taught myself. I did what I needed to do. I didn't just write it on a piece of paper and then walk away and hope that the universe delivers it to me. Like, no, it doesn't work unless you do guys doesn't work unless you do. I wish that there was a magic pill that I had a fairy godmother wand that I could wave over you and shit could just get done. God forbid I, I, I wish that that could be a thing, but it's not. It's not. You have to get your mind right. You have to be committed and disciplined or you're not going to get those things. It's not going to happen without that. I have never met a person who runs a successful company or has a happy family or any of those things that is not ruthlessly fucking committed to what they want. And I actually taking action to be a good mother or be a good father or be a good business partner, any of those things. I've never met somebody in my entire life that has a successful anything in any aspect of their life that hasn't been committed to doing the work. And that's what it comes down to. You guys have to take action. Writing it means nothing if you don't do something with it. Hi, Miss Jamie. Hi. Hi. Kyle, yes, the definition of insanity. No shit, right? But nobody listens to me when I say that. They're like, oh, that's hard. Yeah, no shit, it's hard. Like, it's not easy. It's very hard. I never told you it was going to be easy, and anyone ever told you it was going to be easy, you should slap them because it's never going to be easy. I mean, it's just, it's not. Frank, I agree. I have more lists than I know what to do with. My damn not, mind is never right or in the game. It sucks. Frank, it's totally a mental game. Like, dude, I, I can't even describe to you how none of this works without your brain being in the right place, without you looking at it correctly, without you breaking it down in a way that doesn't overwhelm you, in a way that actually works the way that your brain works. Like, there is no cookie cutter way to create a perfect plan. And that's the reason that like I'm so different than every other productivity or organization or planning person you'll ever meet because I ridiculously believe like to a wholehearted level that there is no 
cookie cutter fashion way for me to tell, you know, Frank or Kyle or anyone to do their plan. Like you're all different. We're all different. So we have to be really honest and clear mentally and be real with ourselves about where we are and how we operate so we know what we need to do to get to where we want to be. You can't just start here and then decide you want to be here and it's just going to happen. Like that's not how it goes. You have to be clear and be be honest and be real. Like, okay, I'm here. I want to get here. But in order to do that, I have to climb this way. So how do we do that? And you have to, you just have to go in with a much more, um, just focused attitude and a much more like, I can do this. Not like, oh my God, there's so much to do. Because as soon as you say that, you've already fucked yourself over. Kyle, I sprayed 16 acres yesterday, starting at 440. Yeah, no joke, right? Working your ass off. Working your ass off. It'd be cool for you to be like, man, I could spray 16 acres today, but I'm going to wait till tomorrow. And instead, you then fuck yourself over today. You know, you miss out on however much money that is, right? So, it's interesting. Um, Frank, something that you may want to try. Just like this is like the quickest, easiest mindset shift that you can make. At the end of the day, every day, think about what you actually accomplished. Write it down. Grab a planner, grab a, a blank document on your computer, whatever. Write it down. What did you do today? Celebrate your accomplishments because we spend so much time talking about what we need to do and no time talking about what we actually did in our brains. Like we're worrying about what we did not get done all day long, all the time. Oh shit, I didn't do this, I didn't do that, I didn't do this. And it becomes obsessive and it becomes completely counterproductive subconsciously. So if you take time at the end of the day, every day, to celebrate your wins, it's like a reverse on your to-do list. Like what did you actually accomplish? And what is in my hair? Like, what did you actually accomplish? It's probably fuzz. Um, and celebrate that because what that's doing and what you don't realize is that's actually making a mindset shift. That's saying, okay, I am productive. I did get shit done. I can do this much stuff all day. I am capable. And it just, the more and more you do that and you realize the more that it will start to shift that mindset. Like I have a client that's worked with me for four months and he ignored the shit out of me about this for four months. And he was having so much self doubt every single time we talked and having a lot of issues around that. And then he just recently finally was like, Hey, I've been doing what you said about this reverse in the to-do list and acknowledging my wins. Holy shit. It's like a game changer. You don't say, I don't just speak to hear myself speak. I mean, Jesus Christ. Anyway, so <laughs> it's just, it really is. It's a huge, huge game changer. Kyle, I'm super behind on any of, on Andy's podcast. I need to go back and catch up. But he's, anything he says is typically pretty on point. He's a, Andy's from St. Louis, so of course I have to love him, right? <laughs> but anyways, that is my message for you guys. Like, just a little truth bomb for you popped into my head, figured I would share it. So your list doesn't mean shit if you don't do work. There you go. There you go, Frank. There's like legit a little nugget of gold for you to put into your daily routine. Put a fucking reminder in your phone. Put a reminder in your phone at the end of the day to remind you um, so that you actually do it and it becomes a habit and it becomes a routine. Cause if you do it every day, mindset work only works if you do it repetitively. You can't just say it one time and then expect it all to shift. Woo, magic, magical. It doesn't, it starts to work. Like, no, that's not how it goes. So you have to do it repetitively to make those shifts mentally. Let me make sure there's nothing on here. Hold on a sec. You're very welcome, Frank. You're very welcome. All right, guys, cool. I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to drink my coffee. I am going to do some client work and uh, get some shit done. So I'll talk to you guys later.